Hey everyone and welcome to tutorial number 3 of the Allen Workshop for your OpenSLS 4. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to change the ruling characters of any country in the game. By ruling characters I'm referring to the king or queen of your country, the heir and the consort, usually the queen when you have a king. Alright, so let's get to it. To change the ruling characters we'll need to first of all copy the relevant files from the original game. So we'll go to our Europa Universalis 4 folder. In here we'll go to History, Countries, and I will need to select the country which we want to make the changes for. So for the sake of this tutorial we'll be changing the ruling characters of England. As you know at the beginning of the game England has a horrible, terrible mother useless thinking okay we all know him as king henry the sixth of lannister so we'll be getting rid of this zero 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 guy and we'll put someone way cooler uh, instead of him so let's find the england file i'll just search for england and i'll copy this file into my mod folder now, as you can see, I already have the folder and the mod file. If you don't know how to create these, take a look at tutorial number one, which will teach you how to create these relevant folders and files. Uh, so in here, I'll need to create the same path that we have in the vanilla folder. So I'll create a folder here called history. And inside of that, a folder called countries. Right, so this path is corresponding to the path in the game, in the original game. And it's very important that you keep the same path for things to work. All right, so now let's edit this file. I'm editing the files with the Notepad++ program. If you don't have it, look for the link in the description of this video. Okay, so here's our king. Okay, and we'll just be changing him and also we'll be giving him an air. So I'll copy the air code, the syntax of the air. So I'm copying from the opening bracket here to the closing bracket here. Taking all of this and just putting it under my monarch. And we'll also be giving him a queen. I'll put her underneath the monarch like so excellent okay so that's all we need now let's just change his name so instead of henry the sixth we'll call him um david the first of house beckham all right so we've got david beckham the first as our 666 ruler and we now have his queen so the queen will be let's say Marilyn Mer Mer Marilyn I think that's how you spell it Marilyn, Marilyn of House Monroe right okay so we'll have an awesome queen as well Let's just change the birth date so it all fits nicely. And the heir will be, let's call him, you know what, let's make him a bastard. Okay, so he'll be Bart of the Simpson dynasty. And the monarch name is going to be David the first. And his birth date will be, let's say, 35. So that he fits in our starting date. Yeah, let's make him a bit nicer as well. Let's give 554. Five, Excellent. Now, make sure that you keep the death date for your queen and heir. If you don't include the death date, they will not show up in the game. So very important to have this. Uh, the claim is obviously the legitimacy that you will have 
when the heir turns into the king. So you can play around with that. Let's give him a 50% claim because he's a bastard. Um, okay, so that's it. Now all that we have left is to test this in the game. So I'm going to close the game. I'm going to start it again. Make sure my mod is selected. Excellent, so we are now in game. Let's see if our changes took effect. Okay, so we have King David I Beckham, Beckham, however you pronounce it, 666. And we also have his heir probably. Let's go into the game to see everything more clearly. Let's take a look. Excellent, so his heir is Bart Simpson and he has his queen Marilyn Monroe. Awesome, so that is it guys. As you can see, very simple, not complicated at all. Um, let me know in the comments if you get confused or something doesn't work as it should. And uh, join me in the next lesson or tutorial of the Iron Workshop. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this modding tutorial, but there is so much more to learn. If you want to learn about modding events, the map and countries, check out these other videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified of new videos when they're posted.